What's up everybody? My name is Mike with the Cleveland Vibrator Company on the sales and service team. Today we're going to show you how frequency matters when it comes to vibration. We've got relatively dry free-flowing material here. This is coming from a local feed mill to us here in Ohio. Probably products you're very familiar with. We will be showing a high frequency turbine vibrator on this side, a low frequency high impact air knocker on this side. Once we turn the vibration on, we'll see what happens. We've got air already hooked up, coming in. We will open some slide gates and you'll see this material is pretty free flowing, so it's gonna move on its own. But with vibration, we can help unload faster. We all know time is money. See how quickly that unloads? Within seconds, within seconds it's already unloaded. The high frequency is sending vibration signals and waves to the hopper wall. It is breaking the friction between the material and the hopper wall, allowing it to slide out. Now, we'll do this side, low frequency, high impact. We'll see what happens. Too much. The reason being, this material needs to react, will react better to the high frequency vibration because we are not breaking the friction enough on the wall to get it to flow. If we start smacking the hammer faster, we got a better chance, which confirms the higher frequency for this material and this type of application will give you better results, faster on load time. As you can see, not totally unloaded, but that's okay. We, know, we knew that was gonna happen. We will talk further about why size of vibration matters, frequency of vibrator matters. We've got it all broken down in our selection guide that we put together so people can help solve these types of situations themselves. <laughs> 